happy Tuesday again, firsties. We're going to do some math now. So if you can go find page 619, we worked on it yesterday using our hundreds board to subtract or count backwards um, with tens, two digit numbers. And um, we did five, six, seven, and eight together. And I asked you to do nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 all by yourself. So we're gonna check those over. And I also gave you a Monday challenge. If you wanted to do a little extra work, you could have done 15 through 20. So we're definitely gonna go over these together and I'll explain to you how I got my answers. See if that's how you got your answers. And then I'll just quickly give you the answers to the challenge in case you did that too. Okay, so number nine says 70 minus 20. Remember, we're using our hundreds chart. So I find the 70, and if I look at my 20, I'm going to have to count back two 10 spaces. So that's 60, 50. So 70 minus 20 equals 50. Then I have 20 minus 10. I find my 20. I'm going to count up, which means I'm counting back, really. I know that's confusing. One ten space, so ten, 20, 10. So 20 minus 10 equals 10. Then number 11, I had to start at 60. And then look at 30. So that's three tens. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, or 50, 40, 30. So my answer is 30. 60 minus 30 equals 30. The number 12 is 90 minus 50. So I find my 90, which is right here, and I'm going to count back up five ten spaces. One, two, three, four, five, and I land on 40. So 90 minus 50 equals 40, just like 9 minus 5 would equal 4, and then I just add my zeros, okay? Number 13, I'm still on my 90, and this time I have 40, so I'm going to go up four ten blocks. So I go one, two, three, four, and I'm at 50. So 90 minus 40 equals 50. And I can even think if these are just one digit numbers, nine minus four is five. And then I just throw my zeros back in to make my 10 digits and my one digits, tens and ones place. Then number 14, I have 80 minus 10. So I start at 80, I'm gonna go one, Base 110 block up, and that's 70. So 80 minus 10 equals 70, just like 8 minus 1 would equal 7. And then when I add my zeros, that's how I get my T and O, my tens and ones place again, to show that these are two digit numbers. If that trick works for you, you can use that trick. And let's really quick go over this. We had to find the missing number to finish our math equation or our subtraction number sentence okay and we started with 30 and we ended with 20 so 30 minus 10 equals 20. on this one it said something minus 30 equals 10. so i did 40 minus 30 and that gave me 10 right if i had 40 and i took 30 of them away and if i needed to do this one two three four and then went one, two, three. I you see I have one ten left. Okay, this one said something. Oops, did this one wrong, guys. Sorry. Hold please as I fix this when I was writing upside down. Okay, this one is 70 minus 50 equals 20. So it's like seven minus five would be two. This one is 50 minus 20 equals 30, like 5 minus 2 would equal 3. Then I have a 0 here, so I know I'm taking it all away. 20 minus 20 equals 0, and 70 minus 40 equals 30. And again, if I wanted to draw my 10s to check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I take 4 away, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm left with 3. 10, 20, 30. Okay, so that was your challenge for the day. The rest of your math is going to be on Pearson. You're going to watch the two videos that go along with this lesson, and then you're going to do the quick check. 
Remember to scroll down because sometimes there's that answer that's hidden. I looked over your, your Pearsons from last week. You did a great job, even the ones where some of your answers were wrong. Um, your moms and dads emailed me and told me like what happened and that you really need the right answer. So great job with that. If you're looking for an, an enrichment or an extra math challenge today, you can go ahead and try page 620. And then whether you do it or not, we'll go over the answers together tomorrow. Okay? So have a great day. Go do your piercing and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.